never goes according to plan and sometimes it doesn't even work out. But getting that one perfect shot can make all the frustration and the waiting worth it. Night photography lets you see the world in a new way. So I know it's not nighttime right now, but I'm just getting the camera set up so that whenever the train comes down these tracks in about an hour, the sun will be down and I can get a long exposure shot. So in order to understand how to expose the shot, you have to know what kind of picture you're looking to take. For this particular shot, I want to try to get a long exposure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the shutter for about six, seven seconds or so and I'm gonna close my aperture. So it'll be at about uh, F16 or F22, just not letting much light in at all. And so what that does is allow the shutter to be open and it collects enough light. It takes all that time and gets all the light. And that's why you've got the motion blur because the light is going through the whole shot as the shutter is open. And so in order to do this, you need something for the camera to sit on. So in this case, I've got a tripod. Um, it doesn't really matter what kind of tripod you use, just make sure that it's sturdy. And if it's windy, make sure you bring some sandbags or something to hold it down. And what this does is allow the camera to sit still so that as the shutters open, the things that are in focus aren't going to be blurry. Now it doesn't have to be a tripod. You can use a shoe, a hat, literally anything you have on you to keep the camera propped up how you want so that you can take the shot. Stepping away from the tripod, be sure to open up your aperture and raise your ISO if you need to. Don't be afraid to get creative with how you light your shot. Use business signs, street lights, or even the flashlight on your cell phone as a fill or backlight. The tricky part of night photography is finding and using the lights given to you in a creative and new way that makes your pictures stand out. So I'm right next to this building called the Montgomery Plaza. And it's a really good building to photograph at night because there are all different kinds of lights coming from it. You've got the sign where it's got the red letters and you've got the lights pouring into the windows. And then you've got the lights against the wall shining up at the building. And there are businesses that have lights under the sign. So it's basically just about looking for the lights that you can find because it, everything that you see is gonna be brought up even more with the shutter being open. Night photography does not come natural to anybody. It takes some practice to get good at, and a lot of the times it doesn't come out looking great, or at least not like you thought it would. The first couple pictures that I took at night look awful and like still sometimes they do look awful and that's okay. The point is to just keep trying. Eventually you will get comfortable with it and it's really just about understanding your camera and understanding how your lenses work. All right, sun's about to go down. Everything's set up right here. The tracks are right there. I'm gonna take this pic and then I'm gonna go into town and take some more pictures. Day two, we're gonna try this again. Yesterday the train didn't show up. Today it showed up earlier, but it was too bright outside. So hopefully it comes. Remember whenever I said I was gonna open the shutter for like six or seven seconds? Well, I think I'm actually gonna to try to do it for 15 to 20 seconds because I wanna get that whole light trail in the shot. So we'll do an f-stop of 1.8 an ISO of 100 uh, just because I don't want any noise and we'll open the shutter for about 15 to 20 seconds. It came from the other direction so I had to whip the tripod around but I think it's a pretty cool shot. Thanks for watching guys. If you want to see more photography content just comment below and uh, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.